Hey guys, welcome back. So, this is going to be our first video for a recipe series. Now, for our first video on bog life for recipes, I thought it was only fitting that we're going to do low country chicken bog. Now, I spent a portion of my life growing up in the Carolinas. What I found is that this recipe is from the Carolinas. My father learned it from the men at Ducks Unlimited, and he taught me and it's evolved and changed a little bit there are three main ingredients in chicken bog and that's chicken sausage a smoked sausage or andouille or a kielbasa and then rice now the traditional method is to take the chicken boil it create a chicken broth and then you're going to add everything cook the kielbasa and then add the chicken shredded chicken and then add the rice and cook it all down it gets to be this uh uh, almost like stew like because of how much uh, broth you're going to add um, and that is one of the areas where I found uh, conflicting stories when I started researching where the name came from one of the stories is because the recipe is a uh, wet stewy type of rice almost bog like or swamp like that that's where it got its name I've also read that it got its name because of the area in the Carolinas, the Florence area, or Florence County, Marion County area, where this is very popular and it's served at restaurants, that because that's a swampland, that that's where it came from. Now, I'm not sure the exact story. I don't know where it really did come from, but all I know is that I grew up eating this as a kid. It was one of my favorites. I've introduced it to my, to my wife and my children here. They love it, and it's become a staple part of our our diet and what we cook on a regular basis. So I have everything all set up. I'm going to walk you through this, the process of making it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn. I hope you try to make it yourself. And let's get started. Our ingredient list. We're going to start with a whole chicken, two ribs of celery, garlic, onions, butter, smoked sausage or andouille, four cups of rice, and salt and pepper to taste. I'll link the recipe and the ingredients and quantities in the description below. But let's start by making our broth. First thing we're gonna do is smash the garlic. Then we're gonna cut two ribs of celery into large chunks. Next, we're gonna add our clean whole chicken and then follow that with the celery and garlic and then add a rough chopped onion. Then we'll add water until we reach about an inch to two inches above the chicken. And then salt and pepper. We add about a two teaspoons of salt and one, half a teaspoon of pepper. Then we're gonna bring our water to a simmer, not a boil, and let that cook for about an hour and a half to two hours, and that'll create a broth. So at this point, this is where you can mix things up based on your personal preference. So here I'm adding uh, smoked sausage. I'm going to take this smoked sausage while the broth is being cooked and I'm going to cut it into half inch or a third of an inch coins. Then you're going to smash and mince the garlic and then dice the onion. Once the broth is done cooking, you're going to remove the chicken to cool and then you're going to strain out the broth. Now back into the same pot, we're going to add butter so we can saute the sausage. And we're going to saute that until it starts to brown. After that's browned, we're going to add our onions. Where the onions are going to cook until they start to turn translucent. And then we'll add the garlic until it becomes fragrant. Once this mix is all cooked, we're going to add our rice to it. We're going to add about four cups of rice and then follow that up with about eight cups of broth. Once this gets to a boil, you're going to cover it and turn down the heat and let it simmer and cook for about 20 minutes. During that 20 minutes, you're going to want to take the lid off and stir it and add a little bit more uh, broth to it. The idea is you want a thick, stewy, wet rice. While the rice is cooking, you're going to want to take the skin off the chicken, take the bones out and shred it and of course, add it to the rice. When it's all done, there still should be a little bit of water left, which I'll help add to the moisture. It should come out to be really thick and stewy. All right, guys, there you have it. It's an easy meal to make, 
You can make as many alterations as you want to spice it up or add any vegetables you'd like. This is just the base recipe. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.